Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the input list box and we'll be incorporating some of iLogic's input list box snippets. Let's unsuppress this feature. Now let's go to the Manage tab, Parameters. Right click on Length and select Make Multi Value. Let's delete the value from here. Under Add New Items, let's type our list 10, 20, each is separated by an enter or a carriage return. Click Add. And OK. So now we've got a drop down menu with the values that I just entered. I'm going to Control C to copy the parameter name. And then click Done. Let's open the iLogic browser. And let's rename the rule. I'll call it Input List Box. And double click to open it up. Let's delete the code from my previous tutorial. Now let's expand the Message Box node of the browser. I'm going to double click on Input List Box. Let's replace the variable. Right click and paste in length. Let's make the code a bit easier to read by breaking the lines. So space underscore enter. Let's replace the rest of the variables. Select this one. And this one here. The prompt is the text that explains to the user what to do. We can enter a custom title here as well, and a custom list name. We're ready to test our program, so let's click OK. Here's our list box. Let's select 20, and click OK. Let's open up our code and add another line. Expand the document node. Double click on Update when done. Let's check our rule again. This time select 40 millimeters. Click OK. And now our model updates automatically. This concludes our tutorial about the input list box.